Hey everyone, welcome back to LT Gaming. My name is Tom and today we've got an exciting list for all you history buffs out there. The top 12 historical grand strategy games. Luke and I have curated this list based upon our experiences with these amazing titles. And of course we're diving into one of our favourite genres which is grand strategy. These games are all about complex decision making, long term planning with a deep dive into the historical aspect as well of course. While they share many similarities with Forex games, Grand Strategy is all about asymmetric gameplay, meaning you're navigating a specific historical scenario rather than setting out on an even playing field like in Civ for example. So get ready to explore the rich tapestry of human history with no fantasy, no sci-fi, just pure historical strategy. If you enjoy our content remember to like, comment and subscribe, it really helps us and you can also now join as a member for exclusive perks. Check out our end card for a shout out to all our awesome members who are currently supporting us. Now a quick mention to our selection criteria. Of course these games can be based upon historical premises, so we're going to have a focus on accuracy that allows you to deep dive into the past. Of course Grand Strategy is going to be about managing a nation or empire's resources and using your wits to navigate complex political, diplomatic and military landscapes. So we were looking for all of these boxes to be ticked. And for this list we're going to pick out one standout title per franchise to keep it fresh. They're going to be my personal favourites of course, so please let that know it's shaped by my own experiences. So gameplay depth, historical setting and overall popularity for myself, so let's see which games make the cut. First up on our list is Imperium's Greek Wars. This one is set in ancient Greece with some DLC expanding it into the Roman era. The game uniquely combines turn-based 4x strategy with grand historical elements along with a mythological twist. Your goal here is to explore the ancient world, build a civilization and dominate. It starts in 359 BC and you step into the shoes of Philip II of Macedon. At this time Macedonia is a minor player but Philip's ambitions aim to unite Greece under his rule. You can choose from 30 playable factions including legendary powers like Sparta and Athens and your goal is to lead your nation to glory. What makes this game stand out is that it's perfect for fans of turn based strategy who love replayability and customization. The ancient Greek setting is a fantastic bonus and it's one of my personal favourites. Despite a small community the game has great DLCs and some fantastic mods to boot. It's reasonably priced and delivers a satisfying experience, even if the AI can be a bit finicky at times. If you're a fan of this historical era it's definitely worth a try. Let's dive into Osmandius Bronze Age Empire Sim next. This game lets you build an empire in a single sitting, offering all the strategic depth of a classic 4x but in a faster more engaging format perfect for multiplayer fun. Set at the dawn of history, you'll guide Bronze Age kings as they form the first empires. Expand your borders, build cities strategically and defend them with powerful armies. Each turn presents new opportunities, but you have to choose wisely to earn rewards. With random and custom victory conditions, each game feels quite fresh and exciting. The design is streamlined to focus purely on strategy. Combat uses a unique power system, abstracting battles into army and fleet movements. With over 52 empires to choose from, there is a lot of unique challenges to tackle here. In single player mode you can learn the ropes of a story campaign featuring explorer Gertrude Bell and you challenge yourself against a smart AI that doesn't rely on cheats. Multiplayer, you have simultaneous turns to keep the action flowing and the quick game here really comes into its own. Why should you buy this one? It's crazily addictive, it's very well priced, it's like playing a board game with strategic depth that's impossible to really replicate on a tabletop. The community might be small but the game has a good few add-ons for very low reasonable costs so if you're a fan of ancient history and strategic gameplay this is a must look at. Next up we're diving into Field of Glory Empires, a grand strategy game that immerses you in the intricate tapestry of nations and tribes, each with distinctive cultures set in the Europe and Mediterranean region during the classical age. You manage your empire at your own scale, you can oversee entire provinces and go all the way down to micromanaging different regions and so on. You construct buildings to enhance your army, improve citizens lives and boost the economy and you're tasked with establishing and growing a trade network of goods and resources. 
Combat isn't just about the largest force, it's about your composition of troops, your battlefield strategy and selecting the right general of course. And once you're ready for a real challenge you can jump into the multiplayer system to compete against real opponents. Why buy this one? Field of Glories offers fresh ideas and features and is perfect for anyone tired of the usual paradox mechanics. The economy system is pretty robust with over 300 buildings, distinct faction designs and some unique resources. Despite being on the smaller side, this game is well regarded in the grand strategy space and offers a unique and engaging experience. Next up LT Gamers we have the Nobunaga's Ambition series and I've picked out the Sphere of Influence title as the one to try. This is a historical simulation game that places you in the shoes of a daimo during Japan's Warring State period. I've butchered the pronunciation of that word last time so hopefully this time people are okay with it. In Sphere of Influence you take on the role of a legendary warlord and you aim to unify Japan through domestic affairs, diplomacy and of course epic battles. Some of the features here is you get to recreate historical and legendary battles. You have dynamic battlefields where new fields and situations require tactical planning and precise troop control. There are different scenarios to unpack and jump into. And you get to play as of course famous warlords in these historical events tasked with different quests as well. This game is not that well known in the West but it is a gem of a grand strategy genre and it may be on the bit of the pricier side but the depth and unique features make it a must try for many strategy enthusiasts. Moving on now to Ancient Greece we have Hegemony Gold Wars of Ancient Greece. This is an epic strategy war game that builds upon the award winning Hegemony Philip of Macedon adding new content and features for an even richer experience. Some features to focus on here is that you have the full range of warfare, raids and field battles through to mountain blockades on a satellite accurate map of ancient Greece. Siege warfare is part of this as well, starve your enemies or cut their supply lines. Historical campaigns and sandbox mode really add that veneer of historical authenticity and then you have expanded tactics and diplomacy to boot. But why buy this title? First up you have a lot of varied gameplay. You can play as different factions, each with unique gameplay styles. Some are very cavalry focused or large empire and it all requires a bit of intelligent thinking and defense which I love. It's also true to history, it captures the essence of ancient Greek warfare making it a real must play for history enthusiasts and there's a lot of strategic depth. The one caveat is that diplomacy can be somewhat limited, but in the warring world of Greek city-states, who needs diplomacy when you can build your own hegemony? Hegemony Gold Wars of Ancient Greece is a promising strategy game that delivers upon its epic premise. If you're a fan of grand strategy and ancient history, this is a title that you should definitely take a look at. LT Gamers, we now step into the throne room with Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign where you become the king and vie for control over Europe in this innovative take on medieval real-time grand strategy. Some things to focus in on this one, it's accessible grand strategy. You have a lot of complexities, religion, diplomacy, city development, but it is a very approachable title overall. You get to choose your kingdom and there's over 200 spanning Europe, North Africa and parts of Asia. Real-time gameplay, so no turns needed. And you have RTS battles as well, which are a lot of fun. The royal court dynamics are quite a highlight and I really enjoy them as part of this title. There's also multiplayer with up to 6 players so you can conquer together in co-op or battle it out in various competitive modes with different unique victory conditions like peasant rush or war for goods so there's a lot of fun to unpack in the multiplayer realm. Why buy this one? If you love the depth of European Universalis but you crave the real time combat of Total War, Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign is going to be your perfect blend. I picked this one over the original for the series as it's just a bit more up to date, it looks better, it feels fresher, it's grand strategy with a real time twist with a lot of replayability and excitement, what's not to like. Welcome to Age of History 2 LT Gamers, the grand strategy war game that is simple to learn but hard to master. Your goal is to use military tactics and cunning diplomacy to either unify the world or conquer it. Age of History 2 spans the entirety of human history from the dawn of civilization to the distant future. So you can experience the grand campaign by playing as any civilization from the largest empires to the smallest tribes. You have a very detailed world map in this one. 
along with that deep dip diplomatic system which I really enjoy. You create your own history, but there is a lot of historical events that shape this, making it a favourite of mine in that regard. But why buy Age of History 2? It combines the best elements of grand strategy games, what we're familiar with, but simplifies the mechanics into turn-based format. The game features intuitive UI and comes with easy to use editors as well. Remarkably, this game is developed by a single person at a very affordable price, so it's a true rarity in the gaming world. If you love strategy games with a focus on historical immersion and a lot of customization, then Age of History 2 is a must have. Next up we have the Hearts of Iron series and I'm singling out Hearts of Iron 4 as the go-to title here. This is the grand strategy war game that tests your strategic prowess and political savvy. You get to rewrite World War II as a leader of a nation from this tumultuous period, either building an industrial powerhouse or forging alliances to wage war on your ideological foes. This isn't just a history sim, it is about every decision, big or small, opening up alternative historical paths. Choosing from when you launch your next attack, or deciding whether to re-establish democracies or forgotten monarchies, it really brings choice into your strategic thinking. There's a lot of features with this one, there's a lot of deep military strategy, down to your divisional templates, researching new technologies, factory instructions and the like. It's both historical and alternate history, I would say, and it's a detailed simulation as you experience the complexity of World War II, managing production, warfare, and diplomacy. There's a good few expansions, and I would say some of them are definitely worth picking up. Hearts of Iron 4 has a really vibrant community. There's a lot of mods out there, and it propels it from a must play into an absolute must play for grand strategy fans. But why buy this one? It's one of the best of the genre. If you're a fan of the time period and grand strategy games, you cannot really go wrong. Lead your nation, shape your history, and see if you can conquer the world. Next, we have another staple of the grand strategy genre. It's the Crusader Kings series, and namely here, we're going to focus on Crusader Kings 3. This is the ultimate grand strategy game to determine your noble house's legacy in the sprawling and completely dramatic Middle Ages. You guide your dynasty's bloodline through generations in a rich and immersive simulation of medieval life. You have different times to start in, you can start in 867, you can start in 1066, and you'll be leading your house through war, diplomacy, and a little bit of intrigue to boot. This is all about generational legacy. Your lineage continues with each heir, and sometimes it's sad when you say goodbye to the old staple of the house. It is a very immersive world with a beautiful expansive map. You have dynamic characters with unique traits and lifestyle choices, and a high degree of customization must be mentioned here as well. Crusader Kings 3 continues this popular series from Paradox, and it offers this really unique blend of grand strategy and RPG medieval role-playing. So if you want to try a grand strategy game, but you need a hook to get really invested, Crusader Kings is often a gateway that I recommend to people. Deep role-playing elements and intricate strategy make it an easy transition for both fans of the genre and newcomers. Next up, LT Gamers were stepping to the shoes of a 19th century ruler in Victoria 2, the best of the Victoria series in my opinion. This is the grand strategy game that lets you guide your nation from the age of monarchies through to the dawn of the 20th century. You'll be tasked with carefully navigating your country through industrialization, political reforms, military conquests, and of course, colonization as well. There are a lot of unique features to unpack with this one. First and foremost, there is an in-depth political simulation side of the game where you manage dozens of different government types, and each action has global fallout and consequences. There's detailed economy to dive into, over 50 types of goods, various production factories to bring your industrial revolution to life. And I would also highlight there's massive replayability. You can play as over 200 different countries from 1835 onward. This one has a rich modding community as well, and it offers a lot of ways to expand and customize your experience. But why buy Victoria 2? It's an amazing game. It's better with DLC and the mods make it really fun as well. And if you're ready to spend countless hours in a deeply immersive historical simulation, this is definitely the title for you, particularly if the time period stands out as well. Next LT Gamers, we have a series that needs no introduction. It is the Total War series. 
And I want to highlight the Total War Medieval 2 title as my favourite of the series. This is your chance to command armies, shape the fate of nations and rewrite history. In this fourth instalment of the award winning series you can command up to 10,000 troops in massive visceral battles across epic 3D battlefields. Expand your reign through Europe, Africa and the Middle East, you can even sail to the New World. Some key features with this title are the massive real time battles of course, it literally wrote the book on them. There's an epic campaign that spans over three continents and a lot of different features such as advanced terrain systems, weather effects and more. With the expansions as well, you have a lot to unpack, many different factions, lots of territories and a lot of multiplayer functionality added in. Total War Medieval 2 is a timeless classic, it has a huge modding scene as well. With expansion packs that keep it fresh and engaging, it continues to this day to be a favourite among strategy fans. So if you're a long time fan, or the series is completely sailed you by for whatever reason, it's a must have for grand strategy enthusiasts. Rewrite history and conquer the world with Total War Medieval 2. This is a great title. And last but certainly not least, we're focusing on the series that wrote the book on grand strategy, Europa Universalis. And I'm highlighting EU4, the latest instalment, as the one to pick up in this series. This is the grand strategy game that gives you unparalleled control of a nation through four dramatic centuries, from the dawn of the Renaissance to the Age of Revolutions. There's nothing that really comes close to this one when it comes to historical immersion, from civil wars to the Protestant Reformation, you navigate the challenges of ruling a nation through these periods. Exploration and colonisation, discover and settle the new world, or resist European conquest and shape your destiny. Trade, wealth, diplomacy, alliances, your monarch's influence, there is so much to unpack here. You can rewrite history from the grand voyages of discovery to the religious wars and revolutionary governments or you can follow the path of destiny that history actually laid out for you. I've logged over 2000 hours into EU4 and countless more into its predecessors. For me it's the pinnacle of grand strategy games. I of course have issues with Paradox for their DLC policy but there's no doubt this offers a rich and immersive experience and if you're looking for a game that is defined and popularized the grand strategy genre, this is it. So if you want to rewrite history of the early modern world and build an empire for the ages, nothing does it quite like EU4. And there we have it LT Gamers, our top picks for grand strategy games that promise to immerse you in epic battles, complex politics and of course history. From medieval intrigue of the Crusader Kings and medieval Total War 2 to the global empire building of EU4, these games really offer endless hours of depth and historical exploration. Forging dynasties, leading nations or reshaping the world, there is a grand strategy game in this list waiting to challenge and captivate you. So dive in, pick one up and let your conquests begin.